now I have a very nice, very, very nice position. All my pawns are on light squares, which is great against his bishop. But white does have some pressure on the queen's side, attacking my weak pawn on b7. Still, there's nothing he can do. I will simply double my rooks on d7 and d8 and wait. He'll probably try to win somehow, make some mistake, then I'm going to beat him. Now, is there anything here that I can do? I mean, I would quickly like to check all the moves. Nothing with the rooks, no, nothing special with the knight, king, pawns, no. I don't have anything great here, like uh, some uh, attacking winning moves, so I should just improve my position a little bit. Rook b8 is protecting pawn on b7, but I think it's much better to protect it from the side. Like rook d7 protects this pawn much better because it's also attacking stuff on the d file. So that's why I want to go rook d7 and put my other rook to d8. b7 is protected well enough. He might try to double, you know, like a rook b6, rook c3, rook b3, but that's not go going to hurt me. I can even play knight d6 and possibly knight b5. Uh huh, knight b5 might be a nice idea sometimes. But I think I'm going to start with rook d7. And now I have to check for blunders. Am I blundering something after I play rook d7? Can he go rook b7? No. Can he play bishop takes c6? I just take bc6 and I'm a piece up. I take ed5. Bishop d5, rook d5, queen d5, c d5, rook c7, knight takes c7, my queen is protected. So there is nothing much he can do. He might go rook b6, try to push some b4, but it's going nowhere. So I think after rook d7 my position is great. I forgot to draw some arrows this time. Oh, so I'm playing this move. Is it the best move? 0.43, it means like, you know, it's almost the best move or probably the best move. I think I understand this position much better than, than stock fishing. 